What's going on YouTube? Today I'm going to be doing an editing tutorial on this portrait. A lot of people have been asking me to see my workflow and how I edit pictures. And it really depends on what I'm editing and the style and look that I'm going for. But today I'm going to show you on this portrait. This was shot with a Sigma 16mm f1.4 on a Sony a6300. So let's get started. The first thing I like to do is duplicate my layer. I always like to duplicate my layer because I can go back to the previous step that I just did without having to undo everything that I've done. So I'm going to duplicate a layer. I'm going to go to camera raw filter. And I underexpose this picture on purpose because if I would expose properly for the model, it would have been about right here. And it's a lot harder to recover the highlights than it is to bring back shadows. So I protected the highlights just a little bit. So you see if I bring down the highlights or if I decrease the exposure, almost the entire sky comes back. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to increase the shadows, but not too much because it starts looking fake and HDR looking. So about right here is good. Increase the exposure a little bit. I'm gonna take the highlights all the way down. And I'm going to dehaze the picture, bring in some of the colors and increase the vibrancy to about right there. Now I don't actually want this picture to be this vibrant and colorful, but I increased the vibrancy and stuff just to bring the colors out. All right, that's good. Now that I've done that, I'm going to duplicate the layer so I can work on a new layer. I'm gonna go back to camera raw filter and I'm gonna take out the colors that I don't want. So normally I don't take out the greens, but I'm going to go for a real muted green look. So first I'm going to change the color of the greens to about a really blue color, bluish green. I'm going to go right there and I'm going to take the saturation and turn it way down. Now I don't want it black and white, but I want like very minimal color and let's change the hue of the sky I don't want it to be like extra blue but I don't want it to be aqua either all right that is good and we're gonna desaturate that as well okay and let's increase the brightness of the blues and the greens and the yellows and that looks good right there okay next what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna apply a LUT uh, if you don't know what LUTs are you can check out my video that I just linked in the corner to check out my color grading tutorial but a LUT is basically something that you can apply that converts colors into a new set of colors so I have my LUT pack, my personal LUT pack. I'm going to use look seven. And so the LUT applies my color grade that I use in some of my videos and photos. I can make different looks and save them as a LUT. So use it with LUTs, you will apply it and then you will set the opacity to set the strength that you want. But I'm gonna leave it all the way up. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to hit Control, Shift, Alt, and E. And what that does is it makes a new layer based on everything under it. So if all the adjustments that I did looks like this, it's gonna merge it all together and create a new layer on top as its own. So I can really turn off all these layers and still have the adjustments that I made. So after I do that, I'm gonna go back. Wait, let's duplicate it first. I'm going to go back into camera raw filter and we're going to do some fine tuning. So let's see, let's increase the exposure a little bit. And highlights, a little bit of the shadows. I'm going to add a little clarity. And let's go to the colors. I have more colors in the greens and the grass and stuff now, so I'm going to desaturate that back to how it was. But not all the way washed out, just 
this a little bit. Okay, that's looking pretty good. This guy has come back a little bit too. So let's turn it down. All right, that looks good. And what I want to do is I want to warm up the picture. So first of all, I'm going to adjust the color temperature just a little bit. And increase the vibrancy. And I'm going to go to split toning. Split toning lets me add colors to the highlights or to the shadows. So I'm going to add warm tones to the shadows. Maybe like an orange brown color like this. And I'm going to turn it down. It's about here. That looks good. But the problem is it added too much red to the mid-tones. Like she has like an orange just red like tint to her. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the tone curve, to the red channel, go to the mid-tones, and I'm going to turn that down so Like that. All right, that looks good. And also what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a slight fade. So I'm going to lift the blacks and bring down the mid-tones back to normal. Just add a slight fade into the shadows. And also, let's add a little vignette to it. Now let's add the vignette later because I don't want it to apply to this because if I crop it, I want to be able to add a vignette to however I crop it. So let's go ahead and save it as is. Now, I also want to warm up the picture a little bit more because the sun is really right here and I want the sunlight rays to really shine and create more warmth into the picture. So since this real sun isn't really doing it for me now that I've edited the picture, I'm going to add a fake sun. Now, since the sun is right here, I could use a complete circle since you'll be able to see all the sides, but I'm really gonna add the sun into the corner because I feel like the rays will shine better. So let's add sun rays into the right side. And basically all this is, is if you make a black layer and put a orange dot with a soft brush. So if you have a big soft brush like this with the right colors, you easily just make a black layer and create a dot on it. So sun rays are really easy to make. And to get rid of the black, what you would do is you would change the blend mode to screen and then decrease the opacity a little bit and then you can move the sun around however you want so about right there is good and what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate the layer under it so I can add the vignette to this layer and still have a clean copy so, I'm going to go back to camera roll filter. Let's go to vignette. And about right there looks good. I'm going to add a little more contrast. This looks good right there. And let's see. I am going to sharpen the image up some. It's perfectly fine, but just a little bit. So, duplicate the layer. And I'm going to go to Filter, Other, High Pass. So, I like to go to the eye. So, I click on the eye, and I want to increase the radius until the eye shows up. If you go too far, it just looks ridiculous. So, just enough to be able to see the eye. So I think about right there is good. Hit OK. And then you're going to change the blend mode to linear light. Now, if you zoom in, it's kind of over sharpened. As you can see, the, the differences that it made. So what you want to do is you just turn it down until it looks good. So about right there is fine. And that's the final image. Like I said, I pretty much edit 
differently depending on the style and look that I'm going for. Each picture is unique, so the process is always different. The hardest part is always figuring out what you want to do with the picture because it's a million ways I could edit this. It's a million ways that this picture would look good. This is just the way that I decided to edit this particular picture. So I will be doing more editing tutorials and behind the scenes videos. So stay tuned for that. Hope this video was helpful. Please give me a thumbs up, like, subscribe, follow me on Instagram, and I will see you guys next time.